Hello everybody, Gary Crosby, I'm an action coach, uh, business coach. Today, I'd like to talk to you about your identity. Not just the identity that you create for yourself, but the way that other people see you as well. I want to share a really good framework that'll help you with this. So here it is. It's called the Identity Iceberg, a simple iceberg model, which shows some things which are visible above the waterline and many things which can be hidden below the waterline. We're going to apply this to your identity. Now, I want you to think about any kind of situation where you've met some new people, maybe a new meeting at work, maybe a social situation, maybe new prospects for your business. What are the things that you see when you look at those people? Well, you'll see their actions the things they do that you can observe. You'll see the kind of behaviors that they exhibit, how they react to certain situations. And ultimately, as a consequence of this, you'll see the results that they get in their work and in their life. So that's what we can see when we observe and listen to and watch people. But below the surface, there's much more to their identity and to your identity. Let's start just below the surface with our skills. Have you ever met somebody and found out later on that they were a former professional footballer or that they could play a musical instrument? These skills are hidden when we first meet people, but they're a really important part of our identity. And when you think about your skills, what could you do that would change your identity? Let's say you're an accountant. If you became a chartered accountant, how would you feel about yourself? How would it change your perception of your identity? And how would other people think about you? Now, next on the list is beliefs. Beliefs are a really important and powerful part of your identity. Maybe you believe that the moon landings were faked, or maybe you believe that the Earth is flat. It doesn't really matter because a belief is something you hold to be true, whether it's true or not. More commonly, we see beliefs like, I'm not good enough, or I don't belong here, or I don't believe that that's possible. And those kind of things can hold you back. They can change your identity and how others perceive you. But here's the good news. Beliefs can be changed. In the light of new evidence, you can have new beliefs. So for example, you might now believe that your market is expanding and it changes the way you think about your business. You might give three great presentations at work and now instead of believing you're not good at public speaking, you believe that you can go out there and entertain an audience. Next in the identity iceberg, just below beliefs, we have values. Values are a bit more deep rooted. They tend to be a product of your nature and nurture. So it'll be something that as a member of the human race, you might believe that kindness and tolerance and acceptance are values that you want to live by. And it might be as a product of nurture, your parents, your siblings, your teachers, your friends, that you start to believe in the power of friendship and the power of family and hold those values close to you. As you develop your identity, these values will strengthen and hopefully you won't have any negative values in there which can hold you back. Now, all of these things go to make up your overall identity. But it's separate in this iceberg model because of the power you have to create your own identity. There was a boxer, you might remember, who said, I am the greatest. And he convinced himself that he was the greatest by creating that identity. And he convinced the rest of the world that he was the greatest. So what you say about yourself when you're by yourself is really, really important. That conversation has got to be a very positive one. Now, there's one more aspect to this that I want to cover. And it's really, really important. It's the environment that this identity iceberg sits in. And we're all the same as human beings. You might think if I change the environment, I'll change the iceberg. Maybe some of you are thinking if I put it in warmer water, it's going to melt. Some of you might be thinking, well, if I put it in ice cold water, it's going to get bigger. But your environment is absolutely crucial. Now, I don't remember who said this, but I've heard the quotation. You are the average of the five people you spend most time with. So who do you surround yourself? Who is in your environment? Because that will shape your identity too. The people you turn to, the people you ask for advice, the really important and powerful people that you risk going to and saying, can you help me with something? This is all going to change your environment. But it's also about things like what you watch, what you listen to, what you read. These things are an important part of your environment and they'll shape the identity that you create for yourself. It's also about the environment you create for your own health and well-being. So if that's a good environment, then the rest of this will be a good environment too. 
Now that's the identity iceberg. It's a framework to show you how you can form an identity for yourself and maybe how others will see you and how you can see others too. If you'd like to talk about your identity, then do get in touch and look elsewhere on the channel for more business tips. Thank you.